In this week's video I've been asked how I can add fillets in, sol in SOLIDWORKS which are curvature continuous. Uh, one of the things about 2016 is they've actually expanded the functionality for curvature continuous fillets so we can add curvature continuous fillets in more areas than before. If I go to the fillet tool you'll see that I can select my constant size fillet. Uh, I'm going to add one onto this edge just here first of all and we can actually change the fillet type here to maybe an asymmetric fillet if we wanted it to be a different shape um, and you'll see then we can set different options about how the profile is defined so I could set it to curvature continuous at this point and I can then set the different sizes for the fillets across the model so uh, for example I might want 10 up the side there uh, then 20 the other way we get a nice curved fillet going across this edge which is curved continuous around that bend. We can also add curvature continuous fillets uh, around the area on the top of the model as well. The way I'd like to do it there is to use this one just here for the variable size fillet option. Uh, with the variable size fillet we simply select the edges where we want to add the fillet onto our model. Uh, we can then define the size of the fillet. This time I'm going to do a symmetric fillet though. I can define it as one size at the top, um, going across the model that way, uh, and keep it down 5mm at the bottom there. Okay, I can select the other edge uh, to add that in as well, and then I can define it as 40mm at the top there on that end. And again, with this one, we can also set it to curvature continuous from this drop down just here. Historically within SOLIDWORKS the way you would add a curvature continuous fillet would be to use face fillets and I'll show you that option now. So the first thing we need to do when we're doing face fillets with the curvature continuous option uh, is to actually put in some hold lines and a hold line is just a line which runs across a face. I've already got one inserted here and it just splits this face into two. Uh, but I'd like to insert a second with this sketch line down the middle of my model. The way we can do it is by inserting uh, a curve split line option. We use the sketch we've drawn uh, and we can select the face we'd like to project that sketch onto in order to split it into two. And you'll see then that split that face into two sections. I can then apply a fillet to this area by going in and using the fillet options, selecting the face fillet option and then in this box I simply just select to add a fillet across two faces by selecting the first one and then going in the second box, that one with the pink marker there, to select this one. Now rather than a symmetric fillet we can then use this hold line option and if I select the two edges I've just created it will then add the fillet but across that area that I've defined. So you can get it to look really nice without actually having to put in the dimension for that one. And again, curvature continuous is in the options there, so we just hit the tick on that one, and again we get a really nice looking fillet. If we wanted to analyse those, the best way to do it is on the evaluate toolbar. We've got this curvature option just here, and we can actually have a look at the curvature across the model. So you can see those items which are a constant radius fillet, like this one here, the ones that are curvature continuous have a much smoother gradient of colour across the area and kind of blend from one colour to another rather than being constant all the way across. Those areas that are flat in your model just have black faces. So hopefully that shows how you add curvature continuous fillets within SOLIDWORKS. If you want to have a look at this model in uh, a greater level of detail it's a good idea to put it on the shaded preview but you can then see how it looks. Okay, so that looks really nice. Thanks very much for watching.